Flirting in this digital age has never been easier. Lucky us. Talking to someone new and feeling that instant connection is like no other feeling. Flirting gets the attention of a potential crush that you want to get to know better. For some, flirting comes naturally, for others, not so much, and that's okay. Flirting is a fun and engaging social experience that everyone should enjoy. Once makes it easy to embrace a casual and lighthearted approach to flirting to spark up chemistry and connection. Let's explore the ins, outs, ups and downs of flirting and how you can confidently up your game. What is flirting? So what is flirting anyway? Flirting is a social behavior that suggests someone is romantically and or sexually into you. It's often a combination of verbal communication and nonverbal gestures or cues that gives you a big clue if someone likes you more than a friend. People are different and it may be unclear or very obvious if someone is flirting with you. Some people are just a flirt with expressive personalities, so it can be difficult to tell. A whopping percentage of our communication is actually non-verbal. The exact percentage is debated, but many agree that it's over 50%. Being aware of body language, posture, and gestures will give you great insight into the flirting experience. Top 10 Tips on How to Flirt If you're new or experienced in the dating world, these tips will help you improve your flirt game. Here are our top 10 tips on how to flirt with someone you're interested in. 1. Confidence is key will never go out of style. Present yourself with confidence and a smile. 2. Find and discuss common interests. Discover the other's interests and see if any are the same as yours, such as reading, music, sports, lifestyle, etc. Finding a common interest can lead to endless conversation. 3. Listen attentively. Listen to what the other person is saying with positive responsiveness, eye contact, and openness. Make a mental note of a few things that you feel are important to them, so you can mention them later and show you listen. 4. Ask thoughtful questions. Make sure to show genuine interest in the other person's life, and ask more thoughtful and less superficial questions. For example, if they're talking about a tough job transition, you could ask something like, wow, that sounds really challenging. What was going on in your mind? How did you feel during that time? 5. Maintain open body language. A high percentage of how we communicate is non-verbal, so make sure you are approachable. Chin up, nice posture. We can see your shoulders shrugging from spending too much time on your laptop. No one will be eager to talk to you if you're hunched over or closed off. 6. Be mindful and respectful. By noticing how someone carries themselves, you can tell if they're shy or outgoing. Be respectful of someone's boundaries and mindful of the context you're in, whether it's texting, video chatting, or face-to-face -face interaction. If you end up flirting with a coworker, be careful this could be grounds for harassment. 6. Give out at least a few compliments. A nice compliment can stick in your head for a while. Positively and verbally, recognize something you like about them, whether it's their new haircut, new outfit, or their attitude towards something. 7. Find a way to lightly touch them. You want to find a small way to physically connect. Maybe this is a light graze of the hands or an arm cares. 8. Introduce a playful game. A little playfulness can get things moving and also give you a peek into how they handle lighthearted competitions. This can be truth or dare, would you rather or never nine, have I ever just to name a few. 10. Maintain a lighthearted and humorous attitude. Flirting should be fun and light. Keep a positive attitude throughout your interactions, and others will notice your positive energy. If you're rejected, don't worry, that's just redirection. Time to move on to something better.